now we come to the main topic which is piles or hemorrhoids one of the same things normally we have anal cushions in the anal canal which are present which are aggregation of blood vessels smooth muscles and elastic connective tissue in some mucosal plane that normally resides at 3 o'clock 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock positions now what is hemorrhoid hemorrhoid is downward sliding of the anal cushions due to weakening of pars ligament now we should be wondering what is pars ligament the pars ligament is the lower end of the external sphincter if it is weakened the cushions come down and lead to hemorrhoid which can bleed profusely hemorrhoids can be mucosal which is frequently present in old age and it can be vascular also which is present in young age now the types of hemorrhoids can be internal external or internal external internal is which is above the dentate line and it is painless because it is covered with mucous membrane the external is below the dentate line and it is painful because it is covered with skin the internal external occurs when there are both components this is a picture of internal hemorrhoid you can see the bulge and here the reddish bulge with some bleeding and this is the proctoscope and this is the handle which has been done in sims position now this was internal hemorrhoid this is the external hemorrhoid you can see this is the external hemorrhoid which is visible from outside see this is covered with mucous membrane and this is covered with skin so it is painful and this is non painful now there are some grades of hemorrhoids there are usually four grades the first grade hemorrhoid is in which there is only bleeding the second grade is which prolapse due to defecation but return back spontaneously the third degree is prolapse due to defecation can be replaced back manually by the patient and the fourth degree is permanently prolapse which cannot be reverted back manually by the patient now the etiologies for the hemorrhoids are it can be hereditary it can be morphological because in males and females there is a curve of pelvis which can lead to hemorrhoid the spreading the diarrhea constipation it is frequent diarrhea which leads to hemorrhoid the low forward fiber diet carcinoma rectum pregnancy can also lead to hemorrhoids and portal hypertension can lead to hemorrhoid in that case we should be cautious if it is portal hypertension. The clinical features prevalence is 4.4 percent of total ward population that is very high. Mostly in middle age and both male and females are affected. The bleeding is usually painless and fresh means bright red. These are important points. Some mass coming out per rectum can be complained by the patient. Pain may occur when there is infection or thrombose hemorrhoids. In severe cases, there can be anemia. Examination finding obviously you should position the patient and sense are one of the six positions. The finger can be stained with blood if it's actively bleeding hemorrhoid when you do PR examination. Thrombose hemorrhoids can be felt on palpation. Prolapsed hemorrhoid can be seen from outside, like external hemorrhoids or on palpation. To look for location of hemorrhoids, we do proctoscopy. Treatment. There are two kinds of management. One is medical, one is surgical. In medical management, we give the patient high fiber diet like green leafy vegetables and the laxatives like sulfur or lactulose. One of the most important practice which should be done is silt bath. The lignocaine gel which should be applied twice if the patient having thrombos hemorrhoids then this is very useful these are one of the good remedies to relieve hemorrhoids green leafy vegetables bulk forming agents tool softeners like is a goal now you should know about the cells bath it is a condition i mean procedure completely saying sit and bath Patient is required to sit in a lukewarm water in a container with one teaspoon betadine or four drops of KMnO4 solution. Anal region should be dipped in the warm water. 
I'll show you the picture. The procedure should be done for 15 minutes, three times a day or maybe four times a day. Self bath help to reduce the edema, pain and the promotes healing. Okay, this is a typical self bath in which you have to sit on the container which is filled with the warm water in a 1 teaspoon of betadine or 4 drops of KMO4 solution and this you can see the anal region is dipped in the water for 15 minutes. Sclerotherapy is other remedy which can be used for hemorrhoid. Bending can be done and doctor guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation can also be done. The surgical procedures are open hemorrhoidectomy, closed hemorrhoidectomy or stapled hemorrhoidopexy. Now what is injection sclerotherapy? It is done for first and early second degree hemorrhoids. Sclerogen which is used is 5% degree, uh, five percent phenolin, phenolin, almond or olive oil. Gabriel syringe used to inject the sclerogen at the pedicle of the pile. This is Gabriel syringe, classical Gabriel syringe. Now it has been replaced by disposable syringe. Second method is balance bending. The balance bending is done for second degree hemorrhoids. Bend applied at the base of the hemorrhoid above the dentate line. You should bend only two at a time, not more than that. If more piles required bending, then you should wait for three weeks and bend the next one after three weeks. The hemorrhoid slough off due to ischemic necrosis. Obviously, you are applying a bend at the base, which lead to ischemic necrosis. After sloughing out, it leaves also, which heals by scarring. This is the gun. These are the rubber bands. This is the conical cylinder to apply the rubber band, and this is the hemorrhoid holding forcep. By this we hold the hemorrhoid, we pull it and we fire the rubber band which is applied over here to the base of the hemorrhoid. Now there are operative methods which can be open or closed like hemorrhoidectomy and hemorrhoidopexy. It is done for either third degree hemorrhoids or more or when there is failure of non operative methods or when there are fibroid piles, the hemorrhoidectomy, which can be open or closed. Milligan Morgan operation is an open method which is usually performed in UK. Then Hill Ferguson method, which is closed technique commonly used in USA. Now you should know what are external piles. You have seen the picture. The causes of external piles are, it can be as a part of internal piles, it can be sentinel pile associated with fissure in NO, it can be after anal type, skin anal type. You should differentiate external piles from prolapsed internal piles, which are two different entities. Prolapsed internal piles are part of internal piles, but these are external which occur below the dentate line. The treatment is same as that of the internal hemorrhoids in terms of medical management and excision is done if they are not relieved on medical management. The complication of hemorrhoids are it can strangulate and thrombose which is quite painful condition. There can be ulceration, there can be gangrene of hemorrhoids, there can be portal pyemia and fibrosis of hemorrhoids.